Hey everybody, it's Brandon again with another Chrome OS Flex video. I'm recording today's video for my 2011 MacBook Air that's running Chrome OS Flex, which is cool in and of itself. But anyway, I'm trying to go through and answer a lot of the questions that you guys have been posting about uh, Chrome OS Flex. And what I wanted to go over today is how to create the actual installation media. So you can install this on your computer if you want to try it. And so we're going to go over that real quick. One thing to know is that you can only create the installation media using Windows, Mac, or a Chromebook, I think. Well, I hope a Chromebook, so that's what we're going to try it on. <clears throat> but it doesn't work on Linux, which is odd to me, but that's it is what it is. Anyway, the first thing you need is one of these guys, USB stick, and just plug it into your computer. Wrong side. Okay. Then what we're going to do is open up the browser, and we're going to search for the, let's see, it was Chrome Recovery Utility. It should be the first result on Google. It's a extension for Chrome, so we'll say Add to Chrome, and that'll install our extension. So we'll find our Chrome Recovery Utility extension, and that'll bring up this window. Let's get started. Oh, we need an 8 gig. This card might not be an 8 gig. If not, I'll get a different one out. Anyway, get started. Um, it'll come to the thing, identify your Chromebook. What you want to do is click on select a model from a list. And for manufacturer, slow, scroll down until you find Google Chrome OS Flex. Then for select product, there'll only be one, Chrome OS Flex developer. And hit continue. Select the media you want to use. Pick your USB. Yeah, mine ain't big enough. Ah. Luckily, I got another right here. Okay. There we go. And we'll hit continue. And it'll go through and create your bootable media. Which will take three minutes according to this. Um, one thing to note that everything on that USB stick is going to be erased, so at least do yourself a favor and load that thing up first and check if there's anything you want to save on it. Maybe copy it to another USB or find another stick. Uh, you know, you'd hate to lose all your pictures just to try out Chrome OS Flex. And I've been recording these Chrome videos using the Chrome OS Flex. Um, so I don't know how to edit them on the Chromebook yet. And so um, we probably don't need to go and watch all this. I'll just go over the next steps while it's making the uh, recovery media. After you do this, you're going to want to restart your computer with the USB drive plugged in. And then you got to get to your computer's boot menu. And that's going to be different depending on what kind of computer you have. On this MacBook, in order to boot off the USB, I had to turn it off, hold down on the command button, and then turn it on while I'm still holding the button, and then it brings up a screen that lets you pick how you want to boot it up. On this Asus laptop I have, right when you start it up, you press F2, I think. But anyway, it's different on every computer, and usually right when you turn your computer on, it'll say at the bottom, like, press whatever to enter the boot menu. Sometimes it's F2, sometimes it's delete. Um, what is, what's another common one? I think F12 is a common one. And if you're not sure and you can't figure it out, just go to Google and type in your brand of laptop and then boot menu, and you'll probably be able to find out how to get to it. So once you boot off of your USB drive, you really don't need any instructions after that. The installer is super easy. You can either, it'll give you options to either test Chrome OS Flex without installing it, which I'd recommend you do first, or the other option would be just to straight install it to your computer. Um, and if you do the testing first, the next time you boot it from the USB, instead of giving you the install options again, it'll boot right to the desktop. All you have to do is, I probably can't do it while I'm recording, but if you go down here and sign out, 
then um, on the sign in screen, there will be an install button on the bottom. So that's how you install that. So anyway, I'm not going to make you watch the rest of this. Um, once you have your USB thing created, it's actually pretty easy and straightforward. So go ahead and give it a try. If you can't figure it out, say something in the comments below and I'll try to help you as best I can. And as always, thank you for watching. I have a whole bunch more questions people ask I'm going to try to get to and make videos on, so stay tuned to that. Subscribe if you want to see all those. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.